Hi everyone, this is Jeremy Chen for CG Spectrum. In this video, we're going to cover the using the multi-cut tool. This is one of my favorite tools in Maya. So to use that, we'll go to Mesh Tools, Multi-Cut. Click on the Option box, since there are quite a few options here. So traditionally, the multi-cut tool can be used to cut between any of these components. So by simply clicking on a vertice or edge, we can draw a line across them with which Maya will cut. There's another built-in feature that allows you to snap. The snap can be used by clicking and then sliding along an edge and then holding down the shift key. And then you can see it will snap to these different numerical values. These values can be set with the snap step. So right now mine is set to 10% we set these to 25%, you can see that now it will snap to 25, 50, and 75. The next tool is going to be Edge Flow. If you turn on Edge Flow, as you make a cut across different components, it will try to keep the curvature. So you can see here as we cut across this leg, it tried to keep the curve going between here and here. Sometimes you can get unexpected results with this, uh, but most of the time it is a handy way to keep from having to move all of these vertices out across a curved surface. The next option is to cut an edge loop, and that can be done by using control. As you slide along an edge with the control key held down, it will show you a preview of the edge loop that will be created. This works with edge flow as well as with different subdivisions. So if we turn on three, you can see here that it has created two more vertices between each polygon. Undo that. And then lastly, there is the slice tool. This used to be the cut faces tool that has now been rolled into the slice tool. If you go into multi-cut, you simply drag from off of the model across the screen. And then here you can see that it has cut all the way through our mesh along the plane that our camera was at. There are a couple options for this. You can delete faces, like so. As you drag across, you can see this dotted line pointing down, indicating that everything will be deleted below that. The other option is to extract. So you can simply do that and you'll see how it popped it up and these are now an extracted piece. 